What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today I have a 24 millimeter dual coil RDA to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Big D Coils, Instagrammer, Big D Coils, and another guy named Ramo2, I think it is. Not 100% sure. I'll put both of their tags right here on Instagram. And yeah, it's the Gollum RDA. Lots of airflow with this one. This is an airflow hog of an RDA. Yeah, just lots to show you guys. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. I'll show you guys the ins and outs of this build deck. We'll do a build or actually a coil placement, cotton, come back, vape it, and I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Gollum RDA. And here's the packaging. The Gollum RDA comes in. Inside the packaging, you can get this little baggie here. And inside the baggie, you can have four O-rings. And also in the baggie will be extra post screws. So you get four extra post screws. You get your squonk pin and an Allen key for that squonk pin. And there is the Gollum RDA. So we have 24 millimeter RDA. We have the bottom. We have a gold plated 510. Protrudes out more than enough hybrid safe for your hybrid mechanical mods. We do have our negative uh, post screw right here. Serial number. Designed by, I think it says Ramo2 and Big D Coils. All right, they're both on Instagram. I'll have their Instagram lit tags on there later on in the video. Airflow, yeah, look at that, huh? Look at those airflow holes. These airflow are four millimeter each. So you have, when it's fully open, eight millimeters. They have a tremendous airflow. This is gonna cater to the cloud chuckers to the series builders, people like to build low series builds. You could fine tune your airflow down. As you could see there, you could have just one opening or you could cut down that one opening and just fine tune the airflow as much as you want it to be. People that, uh, for example, remember though, I think the one circle was on the, if I'm not mistaken, was it the Apocalypse? The Apocalypse RDA. So if you're a fan of the, that kind of airflow, you're gonna love this one. Lots of airflow with it. We do have the Gollum logo there. It's gonna come in a, I think if I'm not mistaken, just two colors I've seen. This one is the black and I've seen it in stainless. 810 drip tip, pop it off. All right, we have 810 drip tip on there, nothing on top here. Now, one thing about this RDA, they were inspired by the Goon, the original Goon. And I've tried it, the Goon top caps actually fit on this build deck. There's the inside of the top cap. You got a nice conical design going on there. Push that up. There you go. You can see your AFC ring. Beautifully machined. The machining on this thing is just beautiful. They really could not find any flaws with it. Really not, real nice job with the machining. Now, let's check out the build deck. And there you go. There is that massive blocks. <laughs> I mean, that looks like two towers. Just sitting up there. That's a big build deck and they've done something pretty cool with the build deck. I've never seen this done before. All right, your squonk action would happen right down here after you've installed the squonk pin. Five millimeter deep juice well. Double O-ring. All right, it does have a little ledge over here. So your top cap will sit right on this. So if there's any kind of liquid leaking out or whatever, it should prevent it with your double O-ring and this ledge. And we have like clamps, like how can I explain it? Reverse clamps, do we call these? Compared to like the goon? Yeah, something like that, reverse clamps. So with this build deck, there's it's odd on how you build on it. So what you have to do here is you're gonna unscrew, this is how you're gonna do your first test run with it. You're gonna fully unscrew your screw until you see that it's ready to pop out. You see that, it's out right now. What you want to do is you don't want it to come out. So you're going to put it back in and just thread it in just a little bit. Make sure it catches. All right, it's caught. So now that I'm going to use that screw as a guide. All right, and I'm going to unscrew each screw out to the same amount. See what I'm doing there? So you can do the same thing on all four screws right about there all right so i got all four screws done so to way to install your coils on this you can't just pop them in like this you actually have to 
do one of these. And you could see that, you see the way that clamp popped out? You could see it on that side too. So that clamp has popped out over here, but you could see it on this one. So you're gonna have to maybe tap on it a little bit. There you go, it just popped open. All right, so now you could see both clamps, now it's good to focus, are sticking out. So you actually have to install your coils in upside down with this, all right? Yeah, it's crazy building on this. Now, cutting your coils down to length, coily tool, if you're a coily tool user, six millimeters, all right? At six millimeters, that's where you wanna cut them. But if you don't have a coily, there is a trick for cutting these. And basically all you're gonna do is, pay... actually, let me show you the coils that I'll be using, here you go. I'm gonna use some Coil Clout Aliens. All right, coilclout.com, MV15, MV15 coupon code for them, if you're interested. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna stick your coil like that and you're going to cut it level right here, level with the 510. And that's going to give you actually six millimeters. All right, so now that I got everything in position, as you can see there, ready to go. I got my coils cut. I'm going to install them. I'm going to try and give you guys a little angle so you'll be able to see. There we go. Got the first one in. And as you can see there, I'm still holding it upside down. All right, I got the second coil. So both coils are in position right now. You can see there. I'm trying to give you guys a better look to see inside the clamp area. You can see how the coils, your leads are inside there. Next thing I'll do is grab my screwdriver, start tightening it down. And remember, the screws on here are flathead slash Phillips head. I prefer using the flathead screwdriver. I just, I don't know, I get a better torque that makes any sense. All right, so while you're doing that, also try, it would help if you hold your coils down, but my coils, if I could see them, they are in inside there. All right, so we'll continue. I put it on the build deck, this way it's a little bit easier for me. On the build stand I meant. All right, we got them all screwed down. Look at that, huh? Make sure all four screws are nice and tight all right, that's good. A couple of more turns on these. And there you go. So next thing we're going to do is grab our coiling rod. And just give it a bend down. Do the same thing on this side. You can see there, but I'm going to drop it down. You're going to see right about there. You want it to be almost level with the top. Do the same thing here, drop it down. There you go. Eye it out. You can see where, see that? See how it falls perfect with it. You could even raise it just a little if you want to kind of under, get under the airflow. So let's put this on. All right, make sure we're not touching anywhere. I think I feel it. Did I feel something touching? I'm gonna have to double check it, but you wanna make sure that you're not touching anywhere on it. So there you go. You, you could line it up like that. If you wanna hit it from both sides, but you're not really hitting the center. There's a thin little wall there. Or you could just do it like that. And just close off one side. See? All right, there you go. Got all the hot spots out. So next thing I'll do is I'll take my top cap and just put this on. I'm gonna press the fire button to see if there's an atomizer short, which there isn't. You're gonna see it all light up inside there. So this way it's nice and safe. I know it's not hitting anything on there. All right, it's not making any contact. All right, we got the cotton in place. I'm just gonna cut it down. My usual length right around there should be good. I know about how much I need for a five millimeter deep juice well. So you're basically almost lining it up to the build deck. And if you think you cut too much off of one side, just give it a little pull on both sides. You can see there, we'll give it like a very light comb out. Don't need much with this. All right, get off that excess fuzziness that's all around. 
just give it a fold down right inside. See there, same thing on this side. See that? All right, repeat on the other side. So look what I'm gonna use in this video, some of this drip, Dream Drip Vanilla Sugar Cookie. This stuff is delicious, I tried this at NVE. Shout out to the guys over there. I think they're based out of New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so we'll get some liquid, we'll get it all done up. Just like that, press that fire button a little bit so this way it just sucks it in. There we go, see that? The way it sucks in that liquid. Do that a little bit more. All right, got the top cap on. One thing to mention about the top cap, there is no locking mechanism with this because you're gonna actually need to fine tune it. I kind of wish there was to where there was a, some sort of where I could still fine tune it, but it would lock in place, you know, just in case for that spin. But if you, if you have that situation where you can't unscrew it because it's spinning around, you're gonna have to do that the good old snap, you know, you gotta just snap it and it'll work for you. And there's what I got going on there, 0.1 resistance on the Gollum. All right, peeps, let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close Gollum RDA by Big D Coils and that Ramo character. Mike, your thoughts on this one? Wow, the airflow on this. This is an airflow hogs dream. It's one of those RDAs to where you could do your series builds. Yeah, you throw a series builds in here, series build in here, open up both airflows, and yeah, you'll be you'll be in heaven with this. Now, if you're gonna use a regular build, something like a mech build, both openings are just too much for you. Lots of airflow. Now, we're gonna go into cons first with the RDA. First con's gonna have to be there is no locking mechanism. Now, what happens is after use, and I've used this quite a bit. Since the up and close, I've actually swapped out the cotton. I've done different cotton. I've changed coil positioning on here. I'm actually vaping a different e-liquid. Yes, I'm, I'm using something that I'm familiar with because obviously we're going to give it a flavor rating. And uh, what I've noticed is it gets, this top cap is just very loose. The O-ring tension on here needed to be a little tight. Look. I went to pull off the top cap and this popped off. The, as you can see, the airflow control ring. Are you focusing now, Steve? Are you? Are you? So yeah, uh, the, the uh, O-ring tension on here is a little bit too loose in my opinion. So that's going to have to be a con with this. Uh, other than that, uh, building on it, this is uh, one of those RDAs to where it could be a pro or a con. It's not for the inexperienced. This is for the experienced builder or experienced that coil placing. This RDA was uh, created by builders, two guys that that's what they do, they build. It's a builder's RDA. So now let's talk about, before we go into any more cons, There's the, we're going to talk obviously with the airflow and all that. Let's talk about some pros also, the build quality of it. Other than the O-ring tension on this, build quality is beautiful. Squonking on here. I swapped out the pin. I also threw in a squonk pin here to squonk it. Just like dripping, no issues. Obviously over squonking inside here. You gotta be careful because of how big those airflows are. You don't want to tip over when there's liquid. Hold it sideways, obviously the liquid's gonna you know, run out of the RDA. So other than that, I've never, I didn't have any issues squonking with it. For me personally, this is a dripper's RDA. This is for dripping in my opinion. The build deck. When I saw the build deck, I was like, huh? Are you serious? And I was like, okay, how do you do this? And uh, he wrote me a little note here, hold it upside down. I was like, oh yeah, okay, I understand. I did everything, I built it for the first time, and I was like, wow, this was simple to build. Tell you guys the truth, you know, it wasn't hard. It looks hard, but it's not hard for me. But for others, it might be a little bit on the difficult side building it. You gotta do that trick where you gotta uh, undo the post screws almost to where they're almost undone. That clamp is gonna pop out, hold it upside down, slip the coils inside there. Tighten it all down, bend them down, you know, and experiment with your bending how far down you want to go, depending on if you want a little under coil action or mostly side airflow action with it. All right? Now, one thing about the airflow, this is where I said we're going to talk about a little bit of a con. Depending on how you place your coils, you might get a little bit of whistling. Also, depending on where the barrel is placed on whichever angle, 
I don't know if you guys could make that out. Let's say we got the focus. Whatever angle, if I turn it a little bit that way or that way, it might whistle on you. You might get a little bit of whistling sound. So that's where you're going to have to customize it and move your, your basically your barrel around and get it to that position where it's not going to whistle for you. Now, fully open on this. All right, got it fully open. You can see the coils or the coil, which you, actually you can mostly see cotton. But like I said, when it's when you got both air flows open on here, that's more, in my opinion, for a series build. Now, fully open, like I said, I have it at 125 watts, and I was vaping at 125 with just one airflow open. So I know because I've already tried it. I definitely need more wattage. I'll throw it up to like 170 watts. You can see there, 170 watts. Build is still reading at 0.1 resistance. Let's have a vape. Lots of airflow. And I'll tell you something, it's a warm vape. It's not even a hot vape because there's so much airflow going on here. I mean, if you have the lung capacity to really hit this off, you could just chuck massive clouds with this. For those that love clouds, that, that want to see their vapor, you know? But for me, that's not my style. I prefer to shut down one of the holes, have just one open, and then bump the wattage down to about 125 watts. I found that comfortable for me. All right, so I got it down to 125 right now. Let's have eight. Nice. Much better. Yeah, it got cloudy down here. But anyway, uh, flavor on this, I figured that, okay, with all that airflow, the flavor will get diminished on you. Now, if you're running it fully open and you're vaping it at a lower wattage, yeah, you're not going to get a lot of flavor out of it. You actually have to bump up the wattage the way I had it, 175 watts to get the flavor to just to thrive with it. With one airflow open, I have it at 125 watts, and the flavor is nice. It's not the greatest flavor I ever had, if I was to give it a flavor rating from a 1 to 10 scale, I'd have to give it a 7. For an RDA, I'd give it a 7, which is surprising to me because I thought it would be, just from looking at it before I did my first build, before I even vaped it, I said to myself, just by looking at this airflow, I think it's going to probably be like a 6, I thought to myself. But no, it's a 7. Anything between 7 to 10 is good. Obviously, the higher the number, the better the flavor, but 7 is one of those numbers where it is acceptable in my opinion so all in all i think they did a pretty good job another problem to give them is for those that have goon accessories and you maybe didn't like the clamp style of the goon that build deck you could use them on here and change up your airflow you could use the original goon 24's controller airflow controller on here and rock it that way if you want to with the golems build deck so and i'm gonna have to give that a pro now another thing we didn't talk about is Stuff that they give you. Obviously, uh, they don't give you like a 510 drip tip adapter. Tell you the truth, an RDA like this shouldn't come with a 510 drip tip adapter. So I'm not going to even give it a con for that. All right? This is for cloud chucking A10 drip tips. Price. We don't talk about price. He actually gave me the price sheet here. There is no website to get this from. All right? Uh, obviously, their Instagram, which I showed you guys before, you would have to contact Big D Coils on Instagram. And he's got prices in the United States, if I'm not mistaken, it's $50 shipped. All right, so 50 bucks. that includes the shipping in the States. Now, in uh, international, it's $45 for the RDA plus shipping. So you have to pay for the international shipping, whatever it costs. So looks like the RDA not shipped. Just a standard, standalone, the RDA price is a $45 RDA. That's what they have it priced as. If I'm not mistaken... I think at one point when it first released, it was more money. Looks like they dropped the price down on it. So it's $45. But like I said, in the States, $50 shipped. Yeah, yeah, I'm blabbing right now. So all in all, not bad of an RDA. Is it my favorite RDA? Honestly, no. For me, I'm not I'm not a cloud chucker. That's not my style. But I kind of like what they did with the build deck. I'm not a clamp build deck person. Don't care for it too much. But uh, I kind of like what they did with this build deck. I like that whole concept of the way it clamps in and you fold the coil down. I like that. You know, it's something different. I don't think I've seen anything like this build deck out there. But the RDA itself does remind me of the Goon RDA. The body style, everything, the dimensions, all of it. 
It's the goon. Basically, the goon uh, body on there with obviously different airflow and a reverse clamp of a build deck. All right, so I think I'm pretty much done. In the description below, no links to none of these products. Not allowed. It's a YouTube policy. Just my links down below as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping.